look out for scary things in the night. You can now see them remotely with your smartphone. Today is another update. We've been having quite a few lately. System Update 2021.36.8 has something that people have been looking forward to for a long time now, the ability to remotely view the car's sentry cameras. Here's a view of the release notes. This currently works with iOS mobile app 4.2.1 or higher. An Android version will be eventually available. To activate, go into the car's security menu and go down to the option for view live camera via mobile app and then turn it on. This pop-up gives you some more information on this option. Pause it right here if you want to read it. I'm going to do two tests, one in my garage in darkness and the other with the light turned on. On the phone, just go to the security page and then click on view live camera and that will turn it on. Now you will be presented with a page which shows the four cameras, front, left, right, and rear. Press the camera you wish to look at and it will then change the view. Right now it's looking at the front camera. I have noticed that there is some delay and lag in the video here. I'm not sure if it's due to the camera's internet connection or not. So far, most of the lights you see in this video are either from the car or a single light bulb that's on the garage door opener. So the image is pretty dim. I had my willing assistant sneak around the car. Here's the left camera view. Now the rear. Here's the right camera view. And finally, from the front. The second test is with the LED lights on in my garage, which are fairly bright. However, in the video shown, there's a definite reduction in light here. Hopefully this is something that can be fixed with an update. On the bottom of the screen, you can press the honk or flash buttons to use the car's horn or flash lights. One thing I don't have in my 2018 Model 3 is a pedestrian warning system or PWS speaker under the front of the car. Some 2019 and all the newer models have this already. Mine doesn't, but I can get one installed by Tesla, which requires a new wiring harness, speaker, and installation by the service center or a mobile tech. If you do have the speaker, the phone app will let you talk through the car's speaker. It's converted into a robotic voice. Sadly, I can't show you this, but hopefully in a future video, I will get the speaker installed and demonstrate it. And that wraps up today's short video on the system update 2021.36.8 thanks for watching and happy halloween